Hello everyone, this is the demo for Big Data Analytics Final Project. Our project title is Trace Analysis and Error Safety Prediction. Our team member is Hong Ji, Wang Hongli, and Long Long. So here's the outline of project representation. Firstly, we will get an overview for the whole project and the data set. Then we briefly summarize technologies we used and get into more details of the main technologies for analyzing data. Next is the part of project demo. Finally, we draw a conclusion and talk about the challenges and struggles we face while doing our project. So here is the overview of our project. As trees has become a very efficient method to reflect people's mood, we will extract features from trees and classify each tree into positive or negative group. Then we will use the collected data to reflect the order of a specific area. Then we will find the correlation between trees and local safety. We will predict the local safety factor and recommend police for for some areas accordingly. Okay, so we have two different kinds of data set for this project. So the first kind of data is uh, open public safety data that can be found on open city websites of some major cities. Um, so basically the data set records all the crimes and incidents that reported to um, police departments and the data set are maintained by the government. Um, some key information we used in our project, including date, time, instant types, and some uh, instant geolocations, well, which can be later used with the Twitter geolocations. Um, so the other kind of data are tweets. So tweets are just like Twitter posts, uh, and we use the Twitter API and the Twitter API to co collect those tweets uh, that, sent, that was sent out from certain uh, locations from our selected cities. Um, so we have a little tool called bounding box here. Uh, so we basically draw a box for our select cities and then we can get the coordinates of those boundaries, uh, which can be later used in our program as filtering options, options to collect streaming tweets um, that were sent out from those areas. Finally, we dump the tweets into JSON format for later analysis. Well, so here is the main technologies we used when we collect data, we get all tweets using Tweet API and TweetPy. And we mainly use Apache Spark to analyze the data. Finally, we used this three to make the visualization of our result. This part shows how we analyze the data. The first part of our work is doing feature extraction from plain text. Usually people use Unigram, Background, TFIDI, or some combination of above. Here, considering the request of accuracy and dataset size, we finally select Unigram to extract features from text. Our dataset is comprised of three text from certain geolocations, and we try to data representation to extract features from data. The first one is Unigram. And as in this representation, there's a feature for every word W and the feature value associated with the word W in a text T is the number of times where W appears in text. Then the second one is background representation in addition to Unigram features, there is a feature for every pair of words W1, W2, and feature associated with the background in given text is the number of times background W1, W2 pair in given text T. We found Unigram more accurate and efficient based on cross validation, so we applied it in feature extraction process. Well, for classification, the learning algorithm we applied is decision tree algorithm and random forest regression. Well, for decision tree algorithm, 
trees that are grown very deep tend to hide, learn highly irregular pattern, so they overfit their training set, namely it may hide low bass and very high variance. So that's why we also choose random forest as it's, it's a way of averaging multiple deep decision trees so it will reduce the variance. Well, the decision tree is a flow chart like structure and each internal node represents a task on an attribute. Each branch represents the outcome of the task and each leaf node represents a label. And random forests are a way of averaging multiple deep decision trees. And it is trimmed on different parts of the same training set with the goal of reducing the variance. So here is the example of how we apply decision tree algorithm to train the classifier. Then we mainly use Spark Python API to get the prediction result. Here you can see the prediction result. The first line is certain geolocation, and the second one is the plain text of the trees we dumped. And for every text, we will get a prediction result of negative neural or positive sentiment. And we even have a sentiment score for each sentiment. Now here is the demo part of our whole project. So this part is demo of our project. As you can see, this is the final visualization result. The left tab shows major cities and states data that we analyze. So here is the California data, New York City data, Chicago data, Seattle data, and the data source page includes link to open source data set we found and the dump trees sample we used. Here, for example, in California data section, we used this drop down menu to select which dimension we want to analyze. So this is tree sediment and the crime rate dimension. And when you click analyze button, you will get the result. So here for California tree sediment analysis, since all trees we get does not cover all regions in that state, the blue region denotes the blank part, and orange region represents prediction rate. While the darker the region is, the unsafer it is. When you move the mouse over the region, you can get the name of this region. Then you can choose the crime data to analyze. So here it is. All the data used are from public crime data, and we combined the, these two data to make some prediction. Generally, for that region, we will recommend more police force for that region. So here is the conclusion of our whole project. We mainly did three parts. The first one is collect twist data and historic crime data from public data set. And the second one is apply decision tree and random forest machine learning algorithm and using Spark API to predict sediment and crime rate for certain areas. And the third one is to build a dynamic website using D3JS to show the correlation between tweets and crime rate. Also combined with historic crime data, we intuitively recommend police force. And also there is something that we still need to do or consider more seriously. And the first is the feature method, is whether we choose background, unit growth, or some combination of this uh, visualization method. And considering time, and we only try uh, Unigram in our project, but actually we should try more if we have more time. 
And also the second part is that we we just use decision tree to classify our uh, training levels and uh, use this decision tree to predict. Actually, if we can use uh, linear regression or logistic regression before we build up our machine learning algorithm, we can maybe use some binary classification algorithm or even more if we know how to use neural network on this uh, on this text, we can maybe get better prediction results. So the final finally is that the uh, the capitalization method about the correlation between trees and crime rates is pretty simple and we we just use some multiplication and to calculate the results. But actually we can consider it more seriously, maybe to find a more uh, precise correlation between the prediction result and trace results. And this is all three things that maybe we can do in the future. And that is all the uh, demo of our project.